Yeah, right, guys and girls, welcome back to another video. It is Monday, the 3rd of April. It's 7.21. And I've just read in today um, that KSI has got in a bit of a spot today. Uh, KSI apologizes for racist slur in a Sidemen YouTube video, announces the break from social media. Uh, the internet star um, KSI has announced he will take a break from social media, saying, uh, lately I've been messing up a lot after using a racist uh, slur in a YouTube video. Now, if it got to that thing, he said, oh, he's been messing up a lot. So he already knows, he already knows that. He's messed up a few times. So you would think, right, logically, with everybody's minds, right, you would think logically not to say anything, right? So they say action speaks louder than words. And I think usually you, they always say as well that you're supposed to think, before you say anything and this is what i always try and do as well if you want to say something right um you always use your loaf use your brain and stuff but it says here yeah, the 29 year old also known as the boxer rapper and founder of prime energy drinks used the derogatory word in a recent sidemen video uh, the video has since been removed from the Sidemen YouTube channel. To be honest, I think the channel should have literally came down. I think YouTube should have done more on it. I think we shouldn't be having those sort of words um, on YouTube in the first place. Okay, yeah, I get that we want to sort of have freedom of speech and all that. But then there's that crossing of the line that we've got to not say certain words. If, if it's actually those sort of words can affect people, then why are we actually using them? Because in many words, any words people can use, right? They could, there's millions and billions of words we could be using that doesn't offend people. And we shouldn't be using the words that do offend people. It's like in one way that they just do it for clout and also shock to shock people on YouTube. Now, because KSI um, was on WrestleMania, I hope WWE actually removes that match or just the actual clip where he turns up. Uh, because I mean, it's, um, to be honest, it's like, bad for like the wrestling company it's bad for wwe and it's bad for their press as well and i think um like okay yeah people yeah people can mess up yeah everyone can mess up everyone can say something and then then because he got caught out well not really caught out because he was doing it on his stream anyway all videos and stuff so um he kind of pulled it out there and then was probably hoping that um, no one was going to worry about it. But a lot of people actually did worry about it. And they did call it out as it is uh, with the racism and stuff. Um, the drew, uh, what's this? The clip drew outrage on social media, including uh, from DJ Bobby Friction, who wrote, I had this racial slur thrown at me and got physical beats uh, by racist uh, for my entire childhood. Uh, genuinely upset that KSI, a guy my children love, did this and I thought it um, and thought it was funny. In like, other words, is also um, the guys who were on the uh, show as well um on his channel on the side men they were they thought it was funny they thought it was laughing uh they were laughing at it as well and i think that just goes to show the mentality of our society 
what we live who we live in with and stuff like um are us people of humans who just like say certain things then suddenly but the thing is i think youtube should be doing something about it i don't think they should have just took the video down um they should probably took the channel down as well um because i think stuff like that you just can't say and stuff and there should be more consequences to the actions of people who are doing that um <clears throat> So apparently he addressed, uh, KSI addressed the fallout in a tweet on Monday. So Monday, uh, oh, so that was uh, today. So he actually addressed it today about it. I want to apologize for saying a racial slur in a recent Sidemen video. There's no excuse, no matter the circumstances. I shouldn't have said it. And I'm sorry, guys, I've always uh, said to my audience that they shouldn't worship me or put me uh, on a pedestal because I'm uh, I am human. I am I am not what uh, they've um, missed out on the rest of it. So but anyway, um, with the whole sort of situation, people do um, F up a lot. They do, everyone is, we're only human, but thing is, we also have got common sense. And we, us as humans, who don't use the common sense, this is the stuff that actually happens. And this is the stuff that sh um, happens if you don't use your common sense. Now, all of us as humans, we should have a fairly decent amount of common sense but if we don't use it then this is the kind of stuff that happens but i think there should be done more to this like it's all these big stars right uh all these big youtubers think they can get away with stuff like this because they've got a load of money or something called in the banks and stuff and or or because they're a big name and stuff and I think that goes to show that YouTube are basically just doing it for themselves because they're not taking action. Yeah, okay, they'll probably take action when they remove the video. Well, it depends who, because uh, it said the video got removed, but it didn't say who uh, removed the video, whether it was YouTube themselves or if the actual side men just removed it because of it, because of all the attention they were getting. So it didn't really say as much, but um, so and actually, it was just uh, oh, so it's not the first time uh, KSI has been forced to apologise for this. So he's actually after numerous amounts of times as well, um, saying other um, slurs and stuff. So it goes show like. People who, in general, who carry on doing the slurs in the first place, right? They're just going to keep on doing it. They keep on doing it. Keep on doing. It. But then is with WWE because I'm a big fan of wrestling, right? Um, regardless of uh, Logan Paul, right? Yeah, he's effed up a few times. Quite a, actually more than quite a few times. But with um. The rest of the uh, the teams and stuff that he's um, teamed up with. KSI, I mean, I'd say it's probably now effed up for WWE themselves. And I think WWE really should take that video down of that uh, thing. I don't know if they will or not, or if they just wouldn't give a damn and stuff and all that about it. But let us know, guys and girls, do you think... They should take that clip out from WWE. They did it, actually. They did with um, iShow Speed when he went over to, uh, was it Sky News? I think it was something to do with the football. And uh, iShow Speed said something. I think it was out, um, uh, somewhere along the uh, side of it. He said something inappropriate. And next minute, all the stuff that uh, iShow Speed did... Uh, they took him down on it. I think it was because he said something about some 
woman or something uh or what he was going to do to, uh, he would do to a woman if it was if she was the last woman on the planet or something and i think they sold that and they kind of said right we don't want that um getting back from uh the channel over to sky news so they removed everything off that on day one i think um wwe should do the same but let us know guys and girls what you think is this a big problem on youtube themselves uh do you think people should have more common sense uh at what they actually say on youtube um or and do you think there should be actually bigger consequences um taken like action wise to be taken let us know in the comments below guys and girls stay safe and i'll see you on the next episode cheers for watching if you do like the uh this episode uh or this video do like favorite share comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next episode